All right, Shalom. All praise going on the goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, double honors of the apostles and the elders of great mess on their rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. It's preacher Zaiwan. Um, here with another article from uh, CNBC. This headline Sears may be down to its last 24 hours. Iconic retailer likely liquidates if no bid comes in tomorrow. Most of you know Sears. Um, a lot of you go to the malls and, you, you know, pretty much when you go to, to the mall, there's a couple of uh, main department stores um, that the mall has. A lot of them are Sears, uh, Macy's. Uh, J.C. Penney's, okay. Um, Sears was a major, major American department store. Um, I say at least from what I know, um, throughout the '90s, early 2000s, um, even before that, of course. But um, you know, a lot of our parents, you know. Shop at Sears and get, you know, appliances and clothes and jewelry and whatnot, you know. Um, but Sears is, um, at this point, is going out of business. Uh, according to this article here, um, this is a, a major sign that America is done. America is done. Okay, this great place of you know glory, <laughs> this great place of capitalism, and you know you can be all you want to be. It's coming to an end. This dream, this so-called American dream, is being found out to be a nightmare. Okay. Um. There's nothing that that can be done. The true rulers of, of this society, uh, which are the international banking families, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, Gettys, Vanderbilts, um, which according to the, the scriptures and the spirit of truth, they are the Edomites, the descendants of Esau. And they're done with their little experiment. All right, they're ready to achieve their new world order. And this project, this experiment of the United States of America, which is in all actuality uh, a corporation owned by these banking families, they, um, they're they done toying around with you people, and they're getting ready to shut this place down. Okay? Um, Sears, which, which is a major... But was a major American uh, department store, a staple for uh, shopping and, 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 you know, spending money and, you know, this old American dream is, is, is coming to an end. Okay. So it says here, it says the companies, now this is today from uh, four hours ago, updated three hours ago. It says the company's last shot at survival is a $4.6 billion proposal put forward by Chairman Eddie Lampert. The bid, largely composed of outside capital, has faced challenges from the start. The 125-year-old company has more than 68,000 employees. So this means that there's pretty much not going to be any work. Um, and uh, a lot of stores, Barnes & Noble's, um, Macy's in New York and other department stores and, and businesses all around America, Toys R Us, they've all pretty much uh, shut down uh, at least their American stores, um, gone out of business or filed bankruptcy. Um, even pay attention to the news, you know, that, that the stock market is um, volatile right now. And there's to be an economic reset 
backed by the elites to basically um, do away with the dollar, the U.S. dollar, and bring in a new currency, which is going to be the microchip, the mark of the beast, according to the prophecies and the scriptures in the book of Revelation. And they're going to try to receive, you know, achieve this new world order. But according to the scriptures and prophecy as well, they're not going to achieve it. That's when the Most High, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, is going to destroy America. And this is just the uh, implosion from within. Okay? So it says, Sears, the 125-year-old icon, has 24 hours to survive. The employer of more than 68,000 filed for bankruptcy in October. Its last shot at survival is a $4.6 billion proposal put forward by its chairman, Eddie Lampert, to buy the company out of bankruptcy through his hedge fund ESL investments. Uh, ESL is the only party offering to buy Sears as a whole. People familiar with the situation tell CNBC. Without that bid or another like it, liquidators will break the company up into pieces. And a lot of the times what these companies do, uh, they go, they file for bankruptcy and then this other company or investor will come in and buy it up and change it. That's pretty much what the elites have done with America. That's what they're doing because they want this new order. They want everything under one banner. Okay? But this at the same time spells the end of America. And you have to understand that. Okay? Thinking that this place is going to go on for another 20, 30 years, it's not going to happen. We are in the time of the end. It's 2018, which through the spirit, Apostle Har, to Har, uh, here at GMS, has, uh, uh, through the spirit, dubbed this the year of uh, prophecy. And major prophecies have come to pass and are going to continue to come to pass. Okay? Um And this is the end, man. All right. You see it here. Uh, Sears store closing. Uh, let's see here. Let me read some of this. Okay. It says, nonetheless, the quickly approaching cutoff put Sears the closest to death it has ever been. Should Lampert miss the deadline... It will put Sears and K and Kmart. All right, so Kmart as well. You know, Big K. All right, uh, put Sears and Kmart on the path to liquidation. That process would take weeks, according to the guidelines laid out by the bankruptcy court. But the process has also already slowly begun, with the retailer weighing the closure of 50 to 80 more stores. CNBC has reported. The people familiar with these developments requested an, um, anonymity because the talks are confidential. All right, so not just Sears, but Kmart as well is is on its way to closing. So let me go ahead and get some scriptures and uh, you know some prophecies. All right, because this is major news, man. Okay, everybody's you know. Uh, 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 especially you Jakes out there, you know y'all Netflix and chill, and you, you know you you, you know you, you act a fool, and you sit down, and you watch movies like Bird Box, and like oh wow, you know that was a great scary movie. Well, y'all dummies, y'all the damn birds in a box, man. Matter of fact, let me <laughs> let me read the scripture, man, because y'all are. Hey, you know, y'all are the, the the dummies. Y'all are the people. Look, Bird Box is coming to a reality near you. All right, this collapse, this 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 uh, uh, uh spirit of not knowing what um you know is going to happen. Where you're going to get food from? You know, when you're going to find work? If you're going to find work, is that spirit is coming to a reality near you. All right, so this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. And this is talking about while we're out here teaching this word out here, the prophets of GMS, you know, while we're out here teaching this word, you, you, you should understand and remember that you are Israelites, 
that the Heavenly Father is, is going to save a uh, chosen elect of you. Okay? It says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. And we're getting ever closer to the evil days, which is the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, it says, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right? While the, uh, you know, meaning when, 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 you know, when you get old and you get tired of acting a fool and being, being young and dumb. All right, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, he has no time for for uh, 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 hypocrites and pussy for this, man. Okay, it says while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, and the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and and those that keep this house, this government, this economy running, like I said about this stock market, man, it's volatile, man. All right, this economic collapse is. is is coming and these people, these investors and these stockbrokers and traders, they're they're trembling, man. Okay? They are trembling. It says, and the strong men shall bow themselves. And this is the point here. It says, and the grinders cease because they are few. Who are the grinders? Those of you that get up to go to work, man. Okay? It's going to be a, 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 a low employment rate. Lower than it has ever been. To a point of zero real soon to come to America. Okay? It says, And those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. And that's what we're getting ready to see. Sears and Kmart is getting ready to shut their doors in the streets. Okay? When the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And they shall be afraid of that which is high. A hey, bird box is coming to a reality near you. A lot of these movies, man, they get inspiration from the scriptures, man. Okay? All right? You know, certain symbols and, and, and buzzwords, you know, they get all that from the scriptures, man, because that was a, 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 a good example of you people going crazy, man. All right? People seeing apparitions and spirits, okay? Not having no food or, you know, no money or no job, all right? That is coming, okay? Uh, this is verse 5. It says, And when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, you know, whether it be a, a orchestrated terrorist attack by the, you know, by the U.S. government, or where, you know, whether it, it be purely the Spirit of the Lord, uh, uh, you know, uh, attacking you people. Okay, that's what's to come. It says, "And the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail." So that that American dream is going to be a desire that has failed. All right, because man goes to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. All right, and and a lot of these people are about to be a uh uh. uh Go about mourning in the streets. Look at what's going on over there in Venezuela, in Brazil, in Colombia, over there in Europe. Look at what's going on in uh, 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 Greece or Paris, France right now. Or, in the, or even in the Middle East. All right, I did a video on that. With the Middle East, you got uh, um, these countries over there. They're rioting. They're having, uh, uh, over there in Lebanon, they're having their own um, uh, yellow vest riots over there. Because the government's increasing taxes and, and rates on the people. So this is what's getting ready to happen, man. The, the doors are about to be shut in the streets and the mourners are, are about to go about the streets, man. And all kind of fears and calamities are getting ready to uh, take place. Okay? That's what's getting ready to happen, man. All right? So this is just a, 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 a precursor. All right, this uh, Sears store closing is just a precursor to what's to come to America. All right, so I'm going to go back to the article that says Sears filed for bankruptcy on October 15th with a little under 700 stores. At that time, it said it would, have, uh, it would close 142 unprofitable stores. In November, it announced the closure of 40 additional stores. Sears in bankruptcy has therefore continued a trend that far preceded its Chapter 11 filing, a slow-paced liquidation. 
uh, once the nation's biggest retailer, it was also its first everything store, stocking everything from jewelry to clothing, from hardware to prefabricated homes. Yeah, like I said, you know, you might get an appliance or or, or, or buy some clothes, some jewelry. I remember that, man. You know, during, especially during the holidays. All right. It says, but the department store industry has struggled over the past half decade as the mall has become less convenient and apparel more casual. Because, you know, you got this, you know, at the Internet, man, Amazon and, and, and all these different websites, man, Etsy and, and these different uh, Internet buy anything, buy all websites, man. OK. All right. Things are changing here in America, man. And, and it's changing to the detriment of the lifestyle of you people, man. OK. It says uh, here, it says uh, rival J.C. Penney is also feeling the pressure of this trend. On Wednesday, it shares dip below a, a, a dollar for the first time. Uh, Lampert had planned to save Sears by combining it with Kmart which ESL bought out of bankruptcy after the discount store's 2002 bankruptcy filing. But the cultures of Sears and Kmart employees were different, as were its shoppers. Cross-selling Sears appliances and Kmart's apparel proved less successful than originally planned. Um, so this is the end of, of, of America as you know it, all right? Uh... You know, it's coming to an end. All right. America is coming to an end. All right. Well, you know, like it says here in this video, still the end of an American icon. Serious files for, for for bankruptcy. This is it, man. OK, this is it. All right. Let me get another scripture. Let's go to Isaiah, the 19th chapter. And these prophecies, man, these are some of my favorite scriptures, man, because this is the. uh the uh, 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 um, road to our salvation being uh, spoken about here. Isaiah 19 and 3, it says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst of earth. Egypt is talking about America. All right? And the spirit of America is failing. It says, And I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. All right? And the elites of this society are no longer... Uh, 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 able to keep this place up by their witchcrafts, man. Okay? It says, And the Egyptians, which is your Americans, all right, will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. All right, you hobbash me, I was shy. And the water shall fail from the sea, and the rivers shall be wasted and dried up. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and flags shall wither. The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. The sustenance and substance of America is going to be done away with, man. Okay? All right? It's going to be done, uh, you know, and there's not going to be anything that, that, that you people can do. I'm going to jump down to verse 14. It says, the Lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. So this is the spirit of the Lord doing this. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. All right, no more Sears, no more Kmart. All right, uh, you know. Shoot, no more Walmart. All right. Everything is, 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 is shutting down here in America. It says, neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Okay, no more work for America. That's it. Which the hell or tail branch or rush may do, meaning from the top to the bottom, the CEOs, the, the, the you know, to the janitor, all right, to the delivery guy. No more work, okay. Uh, verse 16, in that day shall Egypt be like unto women, meaning scared, frail, and weak, all right, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand. Of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiah was shy of hosts, which he shaketh over it. All right? And the Lord's getting ready to shake this place up, man. Okay? He's getting ready to shake this place up. America's done. All right? America is done. Uh, Sears is going out of business. 
and that's it. All right. Um, with that, I'm gonna end it, and I'm gonna say shalom.